Hey friends, what's up? Jeff Heath coming at you. I am shaking the table every time I hit my hand on there. Don't do that. Hey Jeff. No, I'm Jeff. F do you know how hard these intros are sometimes? Like, I have to do it like 77 times to try to get this intro right. But anyways, here's another video. Hey friends, what's up? Jeff Heath coming at you. Got another video today. I thought I would take you through the process of editing my photos in Lightroom. So I was just out this morning. Uh, there you heard of some sea lions out in the bay up here on North Vancouver Island. So I went to go explore where they were and they're hanging out on a fisherman's dock. Just hanging out, enjoying themselves. So I decided to get the camera out, get a few shots of them lounging about on the dock out here in Port Hardy. So let's go into Lightroom and see how I edit these photos start to finish. Let's get into it. So first thing I'm gonna do is import my photos. We'll start with this little fella right here. We'll go all the way to here. And we will import them into Lightroom. So the first thing I like to do is uh, go into my develop here. And the first thing I do is call all my images. So I was shooting with a long lens. It was dark. I didn't want to crank my ISO. So some of these photos are going to be blurry. Some of them are going to be fine. So essentially I'm going through all of these. I'm finding photos that I like. I'm just quickly scanning through them. And my whole thing is, do I immediately like it or not? If I do like it, like that one right there, I will five star it. Just giving it a rating. These are all very similar. Ooh, I like that one. That one's nice. A little lighthouse in the background, marker. You can see the little sleepy sea lions here. All right, so now we've gone through uh, and now I am gonna flip over here. So I switched away from camera info uh, to rated. So now it's getting rid of all the ones that, that I didn't like. Uh, and now I'm going to start my editing process. Okay, so we're gonna first of all, just start looking at a few of these here. See if we want to straighten out any horizons. We're not trying to get anything crazy. We're just kind of looking, seeing what we like here. Um, this one's a little dark, so we're gonna change the exposure a bit. I have some presets here that I love from VSCO. Um, they don't make these presets anymore, so that's a little sad. But I'm gonna find one that I like. They have a film look that I kind of start my base off of. And then once I have my preset on, I'm going to synchronize all my photos with this preset so they all look the same as a base start. See, they all changed here a little bit. And now I can go into and decide how I want to frame these. So I'm gonna fix this one here. I wanna straighten it out a bit. I don't like this. I'm gonna straighten it out with this horizon at the bottom here uh, to kind of give it a more level, even feel. So now that you can see hitting Y there, um, a little bit of the difference. This one I really like. I'm just gonna confirm that this is straight. I want to just move. The reason I'm cropping this is I'd like to have this lighthouse here a little bit more in frame and I'm trying to balance out how this sea line is cut off and this one is cut off with this fella in the middle. Uh, so that's kind of my thought process there. I might extend this just a little bit. There we go, I like that. So that's a good starting off point. This one here, let's see if we can warm it up a bit. Oh yeah, so you can see this is where it kind of was at. And I'm just giving it a little bit more. So here you can see the greens are a little more muted. Now I'm warming it up a bit. The browns pop a little bit more. The greens pop a little bit more. This guy's tattoos pop a little bit more. This one here, we gotta expose them a little bit better. We're gonna warm them up a little bit too. Look at these two. It would've been cool if this one was, I was kind of wanting its face to kind of be going out over here, but it didn't work out. They didn't want to look out that way, so I can't really make them do something. This one right here, I am going to zero out. Not too big of a fan of the butt look, but this one here is all right, so we're gonna change the exposure a bit on this one. We're going to crop in to get rid of this little section here because I don't want to see that guy's butt there. 
or fin. We're gonna center his face here. <clears throat> Actually, I wonder if we could crop in right to his face here. We'll look and see what that looks like. No, too big. I do kind of like that though. Let's see here. I like to play with negative space, so I'm kind of liking this down here. There we go. That's kind of cute. I wonder if this one will work as black and white. Let's try a little black and white action. This is all just playing around, looking at things, seeing how, these are just different presets I have on the left here. So what I'm gonna do is want to define that hair a bit more. So we're gonna bump up the texture, bump up the clarity a bit. A little bit of the saturation up a bit. So you can see the fur has gotten, if you look at the differences now. So I'm pressing Y to see the before and after. So you can see there. A Little bit of touch ups here and there. This one I am interested in uh, just because I think it would be cool to let's just crop it in like this. bump up the exposure to bring out some of these colors. And again, now we're going to do the texture. So you can see the texture coming up and then the, the clarity here. Looks good. Let's try this one as a black and white. Yes. I do like this one as a black and white. So now we're going to play with our highlights a bit. We're going to bump up the highlights. Get some of that wet fur shining through. A little bit of the shadows. all an experiment. Happy little accidents. So again, it's cool when you change as well the white balance in black and white does change things in the photo. So it's nice to always play with that. A little more clarity, I'll get some of it. I do like that. This is the one I was actually really excited about because we got those two seals. I love the use of negative space here. So again, I'm gonna bump up the exposure a bit that bump up the texture a little bit of the clarity here we go so again the presets I use have a film look so I, a lot of people might complain about the grain here uh, they don't like like that style I really love grain in my photos this is actually shot really high ISO as well so uh, I'm, I'm okay with all that I like it this one doesn't need a whole lot. Let's just straighten out this perspective here to match up with this cleat on the dock here. We'll move it over to, uh, let's go this way. Have a look. So again, a little bit of before and after. The crop stays there, but you can see the exposure's changed. You can see some of the rain falling a little bit now, but that's okay. This one's a little wide one again of the ones over here. Once again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my horizon here with Ooh, this one's a tough one. I think I'm going to do it with the dock, but you can see here our horizon here with the ocean. But if I take my masking tool right here, let's the mask, I'm going to do a linear gradient and I'm going to drop it down this way. I'm gonna to try to blow out that sky in the background make it fade out like it's a little bit of a mist in the background to remove some of that. We can bump up our heel here. Let's get rid of this horizon here. There we go. That looks good to me. And then we have this sleeping lady here. Once again, we're going to bump up the texture, a little bit of the clarity, some of the exposure. I like to blow out that background here. It looks kind of neat. I'm going to add a little bit of a vignette. I like the, it's too much. Yeah, the two times vignette for me. I'm going to do the same for this photo here because it's the same one but vertical. 
Some people like vertical photos, some people like horizontal photos. So again, I don't have to use all these photos. They're just kind of, I took them. These are all the ones that kind of stand out to me that I, I like. Not all of them are incredible. This little mar, I like the feel. I like the vibe. I really like this one. I really like this one. This one I really like as well. This one's pretty good. I really like this one. This one's fun as well. Yeah, so these are kind of like the ones that I like at the end. So if we look back here, unrated, you know, we had, how many photos did I take? A lot. In the end, I chose 16. So that's just how it is. So now I'm going to take all these photos, select them all, go file, export. I am going to put them in a folder. So if you go back here with my Drobo, my photos, I've labeled everything by date. I keep all my raw files as well. So I'm gonna make a folder here, call it C lines, JPEG. I'll create that folder and I'll choose that. And C lines. Here, that'll be the name of the files, and I'm gonna make sure that they're full size, and I will export them. Anyways, friends, that is my editing process. So that was today. I went out, shot some photos, came back to the office, edited them all. Uh, so I went from like 400 photos. I am an overshooter. I, especially with wildlife stuff, I have the high-speed shutter on uh, because I didn't have a tripod. I was just as fast as I go, just to make sure I get that one shot that's not blurry. I'm always trying to challenge myself to go out each day uh, and grab a few photos, whether it's of animals or of scenery or of people. And I challenge you to go out there and at least shoot a few photos every single day. Hope this editing process has shown you a little bit of what I do in the background. Again, I had presets that I got a long time ago that I love to use. A lot of people use other people's presets or you make your own presets for things that work for you. But that's it for the video. If you have any questions or comments, or anything you like to say about the Lightroom or uh, photo editing process, drop a comment. I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe and I'm gonna make some more videos. And if you don't subscribe, I'm gonna tell you. Um, so I didn't mean to say I'm gonna kill you. I just meant I'm not gonna make any more videos.